under the Jagger Awareness Project, which was funded by the World Wildlife Fund, um, the Belize Audubon Society carried out uh, certain activities at the communities that buffer the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary. So um, some of these activities are, you know, um, house, house charts, um, school presentations, movie nights, uh, workshops, and uh, field trips for some of the members from these five communities, which were uh, Maya Center, um, Santa Rosa, San Roman, Georgetown, and uh, Maya Mopan, along with Red Bank. And uh, the objective of this project was to see or you know, identify ways on how we can uh, change how people perceive the Jaguar and uh, also to promote its conservation along with the jaguar spray. So for, like some of the animals that um, the jaguar eats. Um, so bringing an awareness on these issues can help or you know, further promote conservation with this um, endangered species. Jaguar Club! <laughs> Mr. Shaw, on behalf of my Mopan Primary School, I would like to say a huge thank you for this beautiful sign that Arabon did for Maimopan Primary School. Good day everyone. My name is Ms. Romaliatosh. I live here in the village of Mayamopan. I am teaching here as well and I am teaching the class of Standard 2. Under the Jaguar Awareness Project, um, the Arabon Society came to our school last year when I was, in, was teaching the class of Standard 3 and the Mr. Miguel Show um, educated the class about the Jaguars and as well we, um, he organized a school trip at the Belize Zoo for the students to further their knowledge about the Jaguars. Um, it is very much beneficial to the um, students and to myself because um, some of these information were new to the students and I hope they can educate others about the Jaguars. I would love to know more about the Jaguars and I believe the students as well would love to gain more knowledge. Do you think Jaguars are important for us in Belize? Yes, very much. I do believe Jaguars are important to the country of Belize. Um, I'd like to thank the Belize Audubon Society for um, taking the time out to come into our school to educate the children about the Jaguars and for all that it had, the Audubon Society has done to the school. Hi, my name is Kira Cho. I am at my Mopan village. My teacher today is Ms. Gonzalez. I am the class of Standard 4. Uh, when I grew up, I wanted to be a doctor and help others. Today, we receive a Jaguar poster and it looks beautiful for the whole school to see that. We learn about Jaguars has the biggest jaws maybe they like to sleep and climb trees the most thing i like about jaguars are they hurt people or he um bites i'm kind of not afraid because mr miguel uh, explained to us that they don't harm people and i like how they roar and how they scratch the trees. I think that jaguars are important to help others to not be afraid of the next other animals and to protect the community. I like to be about the jaguar club because I want to um, um, experience more things and I kind of have a favorite hobby about jaguars too. We, there's a list of map we find insects, then things, and ask questions what we know about the jaguars. I saw Chicky. She was rescued by 
the home forest she was left, she was struggling in the water. Then some of them told me that you save her and put her in a cage. The zoo was a good experience. Yes, it was a good experience. Like I learned different kind of animals I don't know. In the future, what kind of activities would you like to do with the club? I like to find drug. I want to see Jago myself face to face. Georgetown is a relatively small, quiet community. People who live in harmony with each other. We believe that we are in the Coxcomb Basin and uh, we are also of the view that this area is traversed by the Jaguars. And uh, because of that, we would want to understand how to deal with Jaguars if we have to encounter come across and how to actually create an alert in the event of jaguars roaming around within the communities. The activities that I participate in, in the Jaguar Awareness Project, was to coordinate and mobilize the youths of my little community to participate in the program, you know, to be sensitized in the awareness of the Jaguar conservations. So that was really my role and to be a model for them as well, to encourage them to, you know, engage in viable activities such as these. Indeed, I found it to be beneficial because the youths earn the appreciation of being introduced to uh, this Jaguar conservation awareness that they deserve to know and understand given the fact that they reside right within the buffers and from time to time they either may have heard of jaguars or have seen jaguars and more so they would want to have a deeper insight as to what it is about. So that very much, I believe, was useful and viable for their learning process. Of course, Jaguars are extremely important for us in Belize. It gives a balance to the wildlife system. And uh, you know, um, Jaguars are endangered species. I would want to go even that far. And uh, in Belize, there, it is a haven prepared for them, for their own safety and a place for them to actually survive within the country. And uh, I am of the strong view that yes, Jaguars are important and it will give a balance in terms of um, the wildlife itself. Um, first, they would be afraid of Jaguars. They would feel that Jaguars are such a dangerous animals for me, they have a better appreciation versus when they were not actually given the awareness into these animals. Together, save the jaguars! My name is Mancino Akal. I am the acting vice principal for Red Bank Christian School. Um, we have this year approximately 467 students. Okay, under the Jaguar Awareness Project, we I did take part in the mini workshop at Coxcomb, and then also the field trip that they that they had for us, which was excellent. And I must say that the workshop was very informative. It brought a lot of awareness for us as teachers when it comes to the protection of jaguars. Yeah, I also took part in the presentation of the sign, which is, we are so grateful for. It's so beautiful. And then the banner for our Jaguar Club too. And then I think our school is benefiting from these. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it brings awareness um, to our younger generation on Jaguars, the protection of Jaguars, which is very essential at an early, early age. Because for us as, as Mayans, we, we feel like when we talk Jaguar, we talk danger. You know, but more awareness means more education. More education means 
um, protection of jaguars. When I was younger, I had little to no information on jaguars. All we know is that there are big cats out there, and whenever we see them, we shouldn't uh, play with them. And if we see one, then we should inform our parents, and then you know what that means. They get the shotgun and go kill it. But to present, we have children promoting, like, like our little jaguar club. They were, they came to my office and they wanted pictures of Jaguar that they can color and then give out to preschool and the lower division so that they can appreciate more. The mentality of Jaguars to our present learners today is changing prior to my experiences when I was young. However, we need more, more awareness, more education on it. <laughs>